Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Jag Jagman. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. How you been? I've been good. Is there a little bit of a lag? There's a teeny bit of lag, it seems like, like one to two seconds. But uh, I appreciate you doing this. I know the, the world is a little bit crazy right now with everything going on. Let's get right into it, if that's okay. Uh, first, is it okay if I play a little bit of Dead Serious? Can I play a little bit of that track before we before we start the questions? Or would you just want to dive right in? Uh, go for it. Go for it, man. So I think I don't know if everyone has heard this track. So new song called Dead Serious. Uh, was releasing Dead Serious in reaction to the reunion announcement? Absolutely not. Uh, to be perfectly honest, so the plan was put in place like months back and February of 2022 was the, was the month that we had circled on our calendar to drop it. Um, it's funny. I even teased ASD B sides on the ASD pages back in November, just to kind of put a feeler out, like no lie. Um, not much of a conspiracy theorist, but you know, the guys and I clearly have similar contacts within the industry and, uh, you know, maybe they found out from a leaked source. Maybe it was coincidence. Maybe it was my post in November that tipped them off. There's really no telling. But uh, a fan told me that Jordan had said in one of his last interviews with you that they really only decided to do the, the reunion like a week before, um, which sounded kind of suspicious. Uh, you know, almost like it was done with an urgency. Interesting. So, and you're saying right now that you currently own the rights to the Skylet Drive name as it stands right now. 100%. Because in the past you had you had said something about uh, about Nick, but you're you're saying that so it's 100% for your for, that you own own the rights to the name. Yes, that's actually public record. Um, yeah, anybody who looks it up can see I own the rights 100%. Did anyone from the the rest of the group contact you recently regarding them going about the reunion? Did anyone reach out to you at all from the van? No. And to be quite honest, uh, the only person who's tried to make con who's tried to make contact was me. I reached out to them. They've uh, they've avoided me. Um, that's kind of about that. Were you were you ever ever officially kicked out of a Skylar Drive from any uh, any member? Was there ever a reason to believe that you're not in the band anymore? No. So Nick and I simply stopped working together. Um, at the time, you know, Nick and I were doing a Skylar Drive. Um, Kyle kind of unofficially was being kicked out just because of all the embezzlement stuff. And, uh, you know, we had Michael LaBelle, who was playing guitar and doing screams, but he was essentially paid like an employee. And then Brandon was on drums um, at the end of that final tour with Escape the Fate. Uh, we were getting rid of him. So um, it was really just Nick and I. So it was just uh, essentially Nick and I stopped working together. Um, and then essentially from there, Nick kind of like abandoned things. I mean, I know I've said it in past interviews that he booted me from the Facebook page and took it upon himself that all of a sudden it was his place to do that. And, uh, you know, the kind of tail spun into where things have landed now, but, um, but no, I was never kicked out of a Skylar drive. Where, where did the new song actually like come from? Where did it, where did that song come from? The, the track dead serious. So, I, I mean, I've seen some people say they think it's some kind of diss track or something, um, but the songs, I mean, it's, it's a little more personal and more important than that. Um, it's actually about it's actually about my father who passed away uh, some years back. Um, he was uh, he was he was an addict. He tore apart his body with drugs and alcohol. Um, 
Uh, you know, he was living in an assisted living home um, in his 50s because of just all of the damage he did to his body. And um, uh. I've written songs about about him before, even on the self-titled a- a- uh, ASD record, uh, The Son Is Not The Father. That song was about him. I was still really angry about things at that time. And I wrote another song and it was a little more of an evolution of my feelings about the situation. And then Dead Serious was really, as soon as I first heard the music, the first thing that oddly popped into my mind was in the eyes of him in those last moments. Um, you know, being one of his children, I got to physically go to his room at the at the assisted living home to go find personal belongings that I might want to keep. And they didn't really keep up with cleaning all that well. So I was able to see where he actually was when he died alone. Um, and it kind of put me in this headspace because every time I write a song, I put myself in the headspace of what the song makes me feel. I'm not one of those people who can just, somebody says, hey, write, write a song about this. It's not the way it works. My brain goes towards what does this song make me feel so that it's genuine. And the song put me in the headspace of how terrifying that must have been to be in that situation. Like what goes through one someone's head when they're completely alone, they know they're dying. It's so scary. You look back at all of your regrets, what you wish you would have done, would have done. Um, and that's what this song is about, um, is me putting myself, it's almost like, I think the last step, it almost like me coping with that, you know, losing him unexpectedly. Um, so yeah, it it was a very, it's a very personal song. I'm sorry for your loss, by the way. That's, that's a, that's a crazy story as far as being there and seeing all that. Um, thank you. Would you ever consider collaborating with Jordan? So I've actually, I've seen, I've seen a lot of people ask this and honestly I would, but honestly he's never shown like that kind of interest to me. Plus like the guys back in the day never really wanted him involved in anything. So the idea never really surfaced. Interesting. So, uh, the, all of this makes me think of uh, Dance Gavin Dance, the Johnny Craig, Amorosa kind of stuff that went on. And they actually uh, attempted a and did a Squash the Beef tour. Would you ever consider possibly like a Signals, Skylar Drive, Squash the Beef tour? Maybe somehow you could play some of the, some of the uh, Wire songs or whatever on stage with them while Jordan's also playing. Anything along the lines of that? I mean, I was always like hopeful of a reunion. I mean, things have taken a different turn. Um, And, you know, just as something that someone says and they stand by three years ago, things might happen that change the way you feel and change, um, you know, your stance on things. I mean, unfortunately, as it stands at the moment, if you asked me today if that was a possibility, I'd probably say no. But I'm a never say never person. You know, anything can happen in the future. Um, So I would just kind of leave it open like that if it was today not very likely but anything can happen regarding the facebook page that was it's the at a skylar drive url but it's a signals page but then recently has been converted back to a skylar drive page why do that Were you, were you able to hear I'm that? I'm not sure if the audio. Yeah, went I, I think it, I think the audio went for a second. End, so, so my question, I'll, I'll, re- I'll repeat it. I'll repeat it one time. Uh, so, regarding the a Skylar Drive Facebook page that was a Signals page for a while, why right now convert it back to the Skylar Drive Facebook page? Yeah. So as I said before, I mean, I was still hopeful for a reunion, um, you know, to be possible back in the day. Uh, But things kind of took a more sour turn. Things continued to get worse behind the scenes. And so I already knew that I wanted to reboot a Skylit Drive. But I wanted to be sure that John and and I first had the right chemistry. And Signals gave us that opportunity. Would you say that you're trying to stop the new original ASD lineup from playing shows? 
Absolutely not. My goal isn't to stop anyone from playing shows. Um, I mean, I don't blame people for being excited. I, I understand people like the EP, they like Wires, they like Adelphia. I would never blame anyone for being excited about a nostalgic moment. It does, it does hold some nostalgia for sure. Um, how, how would you say that this could be... This is actually my last question, but how could this be resolved moving forward? What, what would you like to happen so both parties are happy and everyone can move forward? Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, like I said before, I'm the only one who's tried to make contact and been somewhat uh, ignored. Uh, so I'm not sure what would make them happy. Um, you know, I've reached out to them, um, you know, if I could make all of the perfect decisions to make everybody involved happy, uh, then I could work towards that. But unfortunately, at the moment, I, I don't know what everyone's looking for. I know that my goal is, you know, you know, protecting something that's dear to me. A Skylar Drive is, is extremely important to me. I fought for it for a long time. I mean, the name was abandoned by every single one of these people, whether they quit on their own accord they left the facebook page to rot um didn't do anything you know i always wanted to put out content that you know was geared towards this fan base because you know this fan base it's important this fan base is is strong they're loud they're passionate i fucking love it and i want them to you know have the material that, that they're looking for you know they they became fans of a Skylar Drive all because of music. So if you make it all about the music, I mean, that's why I'm I'm putting out music. You know, like I'm I'm having fun with it. I'm going back to the original passion of it, and uh, and I think that, that that's what's most important is that I'm trying to, you know, give the fans what they always wanted, and that's more music. Excellent. Um, well. That's all the, the questions I had written down. Um, I know that for, for legal reasons, maybe there's some stuff we wanted to ask, but couldn't ask. But if, if there's any final thoughts you wanted to throw out, the floor is yours. Just whatever's on your mind, whatever you'd like to say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know there have been some things that were kind of misconceived. Uh, example set up you know skylar drive facebook in 2009 so uh you know the, the facebook page became a thing gearing up for the drop of adelphia um and then even with signals the the label switched everything it's not it's not me like there's a whole team that operates behind the scenes and what people fail to realize is that the majority of that kind of stuff is handled by a team not the artist um you know, just like a touring band has tour managers, merch people, there's a there's a team handling day to day stuff as well. Um, you know, just from seeing things float around, um, I just kind of wanted to lay that out there. And that also, you know, there's there's lots more to come. I mean, we already have the next single done. We're doing something that has never been done in a Skylight Drive history. We've never had a featured artist uh, on a song ever before. So it's something that we're branching out trying something completely different. There's merchandise that's going to be rolled out, uh, you know, you know, live performances, all kinds of exciting stuff. So there's lots of things in motion that I'm super excited for. Awesome. Well, Jag, we appreciate your time. Uh, thank you so much for coming on to do this. I know that you could have chosen any other place to uh, explain your side of the story, but you've chose us. So I thank you for that personally. Thank you so much. And uh, we wish you nothing but the best, sir. Appreciate it. And, Thank you so uh, much, BG. I appreciate it. Have yourself an excellent night. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you so much.